Hi, myself Rahul Singh. I am working as a DevOps consultant. Few months back, I have cleared CK certification exam. During my preparation journey, I have found there were very few resources available online. In our upcoming videos, we are going to solve mock questions which will help you in your CK preparation journey. So, let's begin and watch our next videos. Hi everyone. Now, we're gonna do the CKA mock exam series questions. Now, I have already scheduled my exam and this is the simulator which has been provided by Killer Shell to practice the mock exams. So, it, this environment is basically same as like as we would expect the same in our CKA mock certification exam. So, let's see. This is the first question which we have received. I just opened the terminal. So, we have to open this Firefox web browser. So I have just opened it. We are allowed to only open the Kubernetes.io or some blog related thing. I don't think so we would, need, we would not gonna need that. So I have just opened this terminal I have already opened. So I'm gonna change the preference so that whenever I select any uh, word it will automatically copy and save it to my clipboard and I can use it for the next time. So now we have the first question. We, we have to access the multiple cluster from the main terminal through kubectl copy context write all this context name in this path so what we're gonna do this one kubectl config get contacts okay it will show all those context names so i will name let's see let me show you okay it's showing now i'm gonna redirect the output to this path okay path has been redirected now we have to write a command to display the current context and use the cube sheet tool command okay so now we're gonna write that bin bash as it's mentioned the script file so better to write in that way kubectl config current context we have to display for current context so current context okay let's see that if we are getting the output or not now we are getting it we have to store the same result with the help of uh, we, we gonna not gonna take the help of kubectl so let's do that way as we know that we can see the same out output in the config file in dot cube so we're gonna use that part so let's see okay sorry my bad escape now we are in editing mode of the bi editor sorry my bad bash okay we're going to the cat home kts dot cube dot config okay now we what we have to grab current context so I just mentioned let's verify because we are doing in the exam so better you verified all our output 